Any particular figures in in Unity Village that sort of inspired you when you were when you were there? Oh, so many. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, there there's um, the Reverend Tom Top, a well-known figure here. He was director of communication. Oh, so you saw a lot of him uh, for two years. He mm. was my oh, communication really? instructor. Oh, really? Yes, um, Reverend Robert Brumet. He yes. used to do a lot of. Um, silent retreats mm -hmm. and we would look forward to doing it especially at um, holiday times and uh, Jim Gator the director of metaphysics mm. he was always challenging mm. so yeah we were um, Reverend Paulette Pipe graduated a year before us yeah. but um, we shared so many things together and we enjoyed the whole program mm -hmm. so much and then eventually you came back to the UK? Came back to the so UK. So what happened then? What, what happened when you came back to the UK? Um, I came back to the UK and I was thinking of joining um, one of the United Churches. Mm. But um, somehow it didn't work out because um, we had different ideas. Mm. So I started, I registered Unity Center of Harmony. Yes. Then, of course, Mrs. Mercedes Dawkins, who was a licensed teacher, mm -hmm. the first person I met at Unity London, she kept inviting me to come to Unity London to, mm. um, to serve with the other minister there because mm. um, she needed mm. you know, assistance. So I joined Unity London as co-minister mm. and served uh, from... Long time. Yes, about 12 years. Mm as co-minister. I mean, what, what for you is the, because obviously you're, you're very dedicated, very full, full of um, that sense of joy and, uh, and but what, 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 what about, the, what is it about the ministry that you, you like most, shall we say, or that you find most fulfilling? Service. Service. Service mm. above self. Mm. You know, I was impressed with the comment of the Messiah, Jesus the Christ, he says, I have come not to be served, but to serve. Mm. And in my days in Rotary International, they had one verse, I said, he profits most who serves best. Mm. And I think I, that was what impressed me and impacted mm. me in Rotary International and in unity. Unity enthused about the Christ spirit mm. within you. It is not I, but the Christ within mm. who does the work. So I let the spirit use me. Mm. And I can only do that when I'm serving mm. and I enjoy serving. Mm. And um, counseling, spiritual counseling, mm -hmm. I find that not only help the candidates or the people who mm. come to see me, but it helped me yes, as well. Yes, yes. So I enjoyed doing that. I worked in silent unity as a prayer associate. I mm -hmm. was inducted mm -hmm. for 18 months, mm -hmm. so I was able to work in silent unity. Yeah, this in, in the in, States. In the States, in, from 4 o'clock on a Thursday evening until 11. So you were actually working on the prayer line? On the prayer mm -hmm. line, as yeah. a prayer associate. I was yeah. inducted as a, a, trained right. and inducted right. as a prayer associate. Mm -hmm. And I did that for 18 months. Mm -hmm. So uh, Did you enjoy that? I enjoy that mm. extremely. Because Again, service, isn't it? It's, it's, it's service. Yeah, it's all about service. And there, you know, we, you know that there is no personality involved. Yes, it, if a prayer request comes, you're never identified. That's right. You see? Silent unity, how may I pray with you? And that mm. is what I like because it's not about me. Yes, yes. It's yes. about the Christ presence yes. within. Yes. And that, I think, helped to um, 
to shape me and to frame me and to get me committed mm. to serving. Mm. And now today you, you come to, to do some meditations here in Maidenhead yes. because obviously meditation uh, and guided meditation is something you also like doing. Oh, very much. And it's an very important part of what you do. It's a very important part of what I do. Mm. Because, as I said, when, when you're counseling someone, you take yourself out of the picture. What you try to do is to get the person to talk. Mm -hmm. And when you get the person to talk, you, you, you're able then to listen. And then you can ask, how does that make you feel? Mm. Not just how I feel, but mm. how does that make you feel? Mm. So you're trying to get the other person to forget the challenges, mm. but to realize themselves that they have the Christ presence within. Mm. And with peace, with love and commitment, you can do all things, as Jesus said, through the Christ who strengthens mm. me. Now, this, you don't just tell people what you show. Mm. By the way you carry yourself, by the way you live your life, you can then convey to other people, but don't demonstrate mm. it as well. And that's the important mm. thing that ministry does. It, um, it helps you to know that like Jesus Christ said, I come not to be served, but to serve, to be of service. Vernon, thank you so much for talking to us today. That was really lovely. I really, really enjoyed listening to all you had to say. My pleasure. Thank you.